Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. Today we're playing some Krieg the Psycho. Now, I last few times I've played him, I've been doing melee and explosions, explosions and melee and, and all that stuff, and we have to make sure that we have our mod enabled. But that, that player character was cursed anyway, so... Make sure we go into our mods, and Rogueland's mini is enabled, but I, honestly, I might... What do you say we go back to the good old days? The good old days with the traditional Rogueland's... We could, we can maybe run, we could run one final run of the day with the Psycho. A nice longer Rogue Lance experience. 13 rounds of mobbing. So we are going to be trying to push through these laddies. A Vladov Drew. Bandit Fire Shoddy. Tesla Grenade. We were looking like we're going to be able to push through these zones pretty quickly. Hopefully. Absorb shield. I'm not going to be going melee this game. I think I'm going to be going... Fire damage. And if I, if I end up dying, I end up dying. But I want to have a nice fire damage run if I can help it. Rosa damage is also good. That's here. Very sick. To the dust we go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. To the dust will never go. Okay, so let's do it. We have incendiary damage relic. Let's make sure that's on. Is good. And bandit shoddy goes first. I didn't even pick up a launcher. It's okay. Never punished. Let's see how we do. Later. And we don't get any points to start in uh, in the traditional rogue lands. You get nothing. Nada. But this, this shoddy is, is doing work for me. I do want to do it. I like shotgun fire Krieg. That is my ultimate favorite. Now, Krieg to me is the worst Roguelands character, but doesn't mean he's not fun. So let's try it out. Slow a Tesla down. Maybe I can fight inside it. Does the center of the Tesla damage me uh, when it blows up? I need to know that. That's something I need to know. I think it just did. Not entirely sure. I saw some other Tesla down, though. I know it won't damage me if I'm out here, I'm pretty sure. Wait, this is ricocheting, I think. This thing is sick. I like this thing. What's this thing called? Ready, steady, scattergun. That, that sounds like a fun, fun weapon to me. Now, the ultimate weapon for this build is a Heartbreaker, and I've also gotten it to work with a Fire Interfacer, obviously. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I would like a Heartbreaker. I don't really like going to Good Touch, Bad Touch, because I feel like Good Touch, Bad Touch has got no deeps. Um, that, Again, that might just be me, but I feel like no deeps in those guns. What we really need is a super high-powered corrosive damage weapon. Uh, this can be our shoddy of the future if we... Uh, if we don't go into a fire zone. Elemental uh, matching is just so important, I feel like. Get done what you gotta get done. To do the deeps. Decently long round one, but we're chilling. See ya. Alright, let's go back here and grab this pressure pad. Come on, homie. There we go. Brachny, hand cannon, convergence. That's right, you only get three in the original Rogue Lands. That's right, remembering all the different things. Alright, let's climb up here. I've been playing many for so long because I like the pacing of it. Okay. Um, neither one of those is looking that nice. I'm sure launchers in slot four. This hurts my brain. And let's do burn, baby burn. Just go inferno, burn, baby burn. Give me a flesh area. No! <laughs> what a troll. Dang. It's almost... I'm not saying it is, but it's almost... A... A respec angle. I can't respec right now, though, but... Still. How does that got me? Huh? It's stunned? I got it. I got pull all the stops for this fight. All the stops. Whether that's 
Buzz X Renton page or what? Doesn't matter. They let these guys do their thing. You blow up that fire barrel. The only person that the fire barrel is killing is me. Max health and grenade bonuses. Do I've got a decent grenade for this? Lob test lie too. Sick. Just leave it on the ground for a bit. Let these guys do their thing. And once we get past these EXP loaders, then we grab the grenade bonuses and Tesla out. Still EXP on this side. Junk loader. Okay. Take this. Toss you. Walk forward. Walk back. Toss you. Get these deeps going with these grenades. Toss. Toss. Thank you for that buff. Appreciate it. Put me at 12 out of 15. Let's go on the Blood Rampage and pray. We're okay. We're okay. I think even if we go down, we'll be fine. Yep. Absolutely fine. EXP loader. Free kill. And toss a grenade here. This is going to be my only 1v1 I basically have to do for the entire round. Here we go. Do 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 Adaptive shield Chance to burn enemies I think let's just let's just go fire bro Let's just let people know what we're about we're about fire and fire and guess what's after that more fire Okay Ratchney sure It's fire we take Making Hellborn Krieg work. Now, usually you have to pivot into it. Because he just downs you. But I have faith. Alright, throw a Tesla out there. Alright, let's do it. Bad. I don't have a fire damage class mod yet either. But it's not gonna really gonna matter right now. We just gotta play standard Borderlands. There we go. This bandit shotgun is absolutely popping off. Ready, steady, and is it? It's just times one, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Hmm. I don't see us using it. We already have like decent weapons across the board for other weapon types. Like right here, just the Drugas, just Drugum. They die so quickly. Tito grenade throw as well if I need. Yep. Yeah. Alright, now you're gone. Now the, the final dream is to scale my grenade damage from the bloodlust tree to make my raving retribution. The skill that sends out homing skulls to the people that hit me do a lot more damage because they scale with grenades. Taking SMG, fire edition. I don't think that weapon's gonna do more damage than the one that I got go I got ones I got going right now. Let's see. I do like those though. Maybe I will take it. It's not matching grip. It's my Oh, that's a Ravager with a high come on, you guys. Really? It's a, it's a Hyperion with a Torg grip, and it's a Torg with a Hyperion grip. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Okay, so. I mean, it is a Ravager at the end of the day. I could use it. But we're going to go fire. Uh, Let's do... The kill skill fire one. We got a lot more mobbing rounds to get through. Do you remember I used to I used to play this version every time. This was my go-to craziness. Alright. TD or grenade throws if we need them. If we need them. Like if we get Saturn or something, but it's like that's when we need it. 
Oh, right here. This is a good time to have it, too. To be honest. Let's go... TDR Chucks. Let's just chuck some TDRs for a second. Whoa, Bonehead. Really? Chuck. Chuck. Yeah. Looking good. When in doubt, chuck it out. I gotta get, I gotta get a full heal. Okay, that's fine. That'll, that'll work too. Okay. And I'm not dead. Which is a huge plus. A friendly tinge edge, hey, it's, it's fire. It is fire. I want to thank the TDR Corporation for their efforts. I know I always put, I always throw shade on your name, but it came in clutch for me right there. Bonehead is a gone. Final skull underneath this ramp right here. Yo, what's up, Pyrex, dude? I was so hyped when you commented on my video. I, I told my fiance, and I think I told a couple of my friends too, bro. Dude, thanks for making this mod. Can you can you fix the inventory? <laughs> no, I'm not. Dude, that's fine. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, thanks for chilling. I I I realized that you need Twitch for a revenue stream. Uh, so I just have to start doing it. And I, I'm gonna start advertising it. We'll see what happens. It's all very raw. Nothing is wrong with the inventory. No, don't. <laughs> it's I hate. I hate having to go. I, I pick up too much stuff and I hate having to go in and uh, drop things. So I want you to change the core mechanics of the game. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Mm. I want you to fix all Borderlands. I, I also looked at the community patch and I they had like a bajillion changes. And I was thinking maybe like I want to try it out, but I thought maybe I could piecemeal in some of the mods, but. I don't think I want that many changes. I kind of like. Can I? Can my my problem with? I could use the bigger backpack mod. I'm just afraid. Of, like to me, Rogue Lands, like I'm I'm never. Um, I don't like changing the core game if I if I can help it. Like modding immediately, like you know, it it changes something about the game. And to me, Rogue Lands is like on that pedestal. Of, like changing one thing about it is like all my wins will have an asterisk. Like I got care. You know, I care about my performance because I got to be good this game. <laughs> it's my game. So, you know, instead of instead of just helping myself out and downloading an extra mod, I'll just beg for it. <laughs> oh, man, I am a Borderlands player. Holy. Wait. What's up? Oh wait, I thought it, I said I thought it was Schultz. I'm such an idiot. I saw the alien, dude. Pyrex. I need, I wanted to talk to you about like, cause obviously Jolt is like a more known creator, but your name is all over this mod. So I want to talk to you about like what, how you feel about it, and how you feel the reception has been and all that stuff. I want to I, I want to know like you know like how you do this kind of stuff as well. Yeah, I saw that you guys made the, the trivia mod. Oh, Neo Generator me. Let's go. I saw you guys made a trivia mod, and uh, my Borderlands knowledge is not good enough. Uh, I, the, the, tri the, uh, the trivia minigame? Oh my gosh. It's it's always... I'm like It's it's obviously... It's the, it's the one everybody wants to get, I feel like. Uh, it's definitely the, the most cool, but... Um, I'm not quite the best with it. What is that? Uh, Anti-faction? Let's just toss... Oh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Buzzard Rampage. Well, you're gonna watch me actually. This is the. I've been ru running Rogue Lands Mini, but. Um, I went back to the ridge for this run. 13 rounds. Saw some anti faction. And I, I have five points that I haven't even spent. I think. Elemental Elation is, is the one. I'm not even focusing. I have the wrong weapons on. Where is my. Dude, this isn't. Oh, I The Borderlands? The one thing that Borderlands absolutely sucks with is that that inventory stuff, bro. I'm telling you, that is the worst. For sure. 
So do you have uh, do you have any uh are you working on any uh, uh any projects? I mean, I know you just you got just launched this massive project and you already launched that trivia project and you've been updating the game and all that, but Wait, don't even get me started on Wonderlands banking. I I remember like after my after about the second week of Wonderlands. Oh, okay. After my second week of Wonderlands, I was like, I don't, th I, I, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to see my gear again. Like, I'll never be able to see my gear in the bank. It will, the, the thumb, the little pictures, the sprites, whatever, will never, will never show. It's just a fact. Also, I'm a shameless Juso's candy abuser. I'm absolutely shameless. Come down here. Please. Thank you. Oh, I still have my buff. Later. I do not care. I will juice those candy every round. <laughs> game's too the game's too hard to not juice those candy. IMO. I swear uh that Oh by the way, I am recording for YouTube video. I'm I'm always running the YouTube videos, but uh for anyone Pyrex uh, uh, Pyrex is in the chat right now. And he literally developed the game, which is sick and insane. Alright, let's roll this dice. Because, honestly, the only people that have been in here have been my buds. But I wasn't expecting anyone to start joining in. Oh, a nat 20! That's... Ugh! I hate Borderlands, bad. A nat 20... Well, it wasn't even a nat 20, but whatever. Dude. I should get double leggies from that, 100%. I sound like Killer6. Yo, Pyrex, I gotta know. I know you're not gonna give me an answer, but I gotta know. From one Borderlands content creator slash uh, en enthusiast to another. But you, you, you team Mac or you team K6? Does red mean both hit 20? Actually, I don't know. I, I did see it was red. Oh, you're team K6? Okay. That's so funny. It's so funny. I just can't help it. The, the drama is too juicy. Yeah, I feel bad for K6. Every time Mac posts another video, it's just like... A few more people hate K6. <laughs> <sighs> it is what it is. I feel bad. But honestly, I think he's in a fine spot. Oh, he did? Yeah! No, I, I clicked that video. I was like, oh, if Mac makes a Roguelands video? Dude... That's gonna bring that's gonna bring people to my channel. And that's just you know my channel obviously isn't for everybody. I do uncut, just raw, and sometimes I don't. I, sometimes I don't bring the heat with the commentary, you know. But the fact is, the more people I can bring in, the more that's not, that's another chance. And I lose subscribers every day, but I also gain subscribers every day. So, but um, when I saw him post that they made a Borderlands 2 Rogue Lance and it was a Robo Quest video. Oh, I, I clicked off. I was like, oh, he's not even playing the game. But like, I was wondering if he did that on purpose or not. That that was that was pretty sick. Well, I mean, I, I thought it was sick when he made the, the, the video in the first place. I thought it was going to be sick, but I ended up not watching. Like, I, I get RoboQuest. I'm for it. Do I not have a launcher? What's what am I doing here? I'm gonna die. No, it's that's the end of the run. It's the end of the run. Oh, dude, Pyrex, you're a curse. <laughs> no, you're not. It's fine. No, it's fine. This th this is what this is what mini is for. I didn't have my launcher. You distracted me. I think I must have rolled past it, right? I must have. Yeah, that's fine. I want to show you my gauge. I'm proud of my gauge. Okay. Well, obviously, you made the mod, dude. This is, I've been grinding this away. Dude, your mod has made me... Like, over $1,000. That's pretty sick. Okay, so my, my gauge is clean as... Wait, who do you play? You, do you want... Who do you play? Who's your character? When you run, when you run play, play tests on your game, who do you like to run around with, or whatever? You're a Maya enjoyer. Me too, bro.
Me too. Because she doesn't die. Yeah, honestly. I got a Hulk to start too. My my game knowledge has gone absolutely sky high uh, since starting playing this game. When what's the biggest uh, effector of that is people in the YouTube comments telling me how stupid I am. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's see. Honestly, I'm not about the amp shields right now. But it's be one of these spikes is gonna be better than a melee or Nova. I mean, whatever it was. All right, we should be fine. Let's make sure that our launcher's out there, and we have to make sure we know what what uh, manufactured is. Bandit is going to be absolutely fine. Um, points into... I guess I'll do one point mine die, three points foresight. It's, it's going to delay our, our... No, it's not going to delay our uh, cloud kill. doesn't matter. Alright, this is the Pyrex Myra run. Let's go. So you said you do all of the... Or you do most of the... Um, of the Python. That means most of the coding for the lay people. And so how much like what does what does what does working on a game like Rogue Lands like what does that look like for your for your workload slash like like what are your challenges? What are things you gotta get get through? A few ports were done by Mopi and Yuso. I saw that, um, I saw, like, the, the map, the map thing that you don't, the one mod that you don't have to enable. By the way, the singularities are going off. The one mod that you don't have to enable was created by Juso. That's what it says, at least, in the, um, the in-game information. Oh, let's make sure that we, that we don't die here. I launched the game about 4k times working on this. That is, that is very, that's, that is passion. That's passion. I don't, I don't think I've, I've opened up Borderlands more than a, a hundred times. No, it's probably a lot, probably, probably a little bit more than that, but. That's very impressive. I mean, the, I mean, the work shows, honestly. The work definitely shows. Oh, is that a loot? Oh, I thought that was a loot stalker. Come on, show your face again. Player kid. I might go down here. I'm not hitting any crits. It's okay. As long as he doesn't get a shield back, I'm chilling. Fortunately, steam. Oh, it does track it. That's cool. That's very cool. Oh, legendary binder class mod. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Don't get too close. I don't want to take the damage. I'm not, I don't have the axe and explosive damage resist. So about. About you said you launched the game 4K times. About how how long did it take you to get from the start to the 1.0 launch? Let's see, four or five months, and you say four or five months. Is that like working on it for? Like, uh, one to two hours every day, or is that, at, like, four or five hours? Or, like, what was your, what was your hours to weeks for those four or five months of working on the game? Because, obviously, like, if you're, if you're pumping out, I was, I was either not touching it, for a day or like one plus hours or 10 plus hours. Oh, I see. Gotcha. That makes sense. By the way, Maya, the unknown element about Maya, that she has ridiculous TDR synergy. Increased magazine size and reload speed. Excuse me. All right. We take one point in these for sure. Oh, you had a lot of time. I mean, the work definitely, definitely shows. Like, there's so much in this game that I'm sure that I haven't even, like... Like, just for the, just, the, just the part that the player sees, there's so much that I have, have never even, you know, mentioned and all that stuff. I did, like... 
when this was open and they would and uh the robot would pop out but it got a little bit hectic on that it made sense to me i'm not sure why you chose to do it but to me it did feel a little bit like a very difficult stage before especially because the skags would come out the backside right when you go to when you would loot the gear in there the skags would come flying out the backside too You think your Borderlands went from 1.2k to 1.8k, so like 600 hours of work? I think that... I know that Gearbox, I, know, I don't know like your situation, but I feel like, you know... This... This format, this mod... What you've created... Is like the optimum format to experience a Borderlands game in. Like, I know that this, the community is attached to their story and their and their long-form RPG content. But to me, you 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 put this in the game with multi-classing. Like, if you made, like, if there was, like, Wonderland-style multi-classing and, like, simple characters. Like, they, Borderlands 4 was all just a roguelite. And simple characters with multi-classing. Yes, this is uh, this would be Arms Race V2 for BL4. Be absolutely insane. I want Wonderlands to do the same thing, but I don't under Wonderlands. It's like they didn't know what they were doing post launch. They 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 they, they, they the game could have made so much money if all they did was make characters, bro. Anyways, um, I'm swapping to weapons that I don't even know why. I'm so I usually know exactly where my weapons are, but I I'm I'm in you know stream talker mode right now. Yeah. But they, I mean, they should be taking, if they're not, if they're not taking notes on this game, uh, they have to know it exists. They have to know that it exists. If they're not taking notes on this game and like talking to you about, <laughs> like reaching out to you and being like, hey, would you, as at least as, as some sort of like, you know, no, what's it called? When you, re when you ask someone for, to just reference them. Is this... This is exactly what they need. And they have access to all the textures. They have access to all the level design. Yeah, you're totally right. That makes a lot of sense. It's just sad. Like, the game's mechanics are so good. <laughs> you just have to put it in like in a semi you know decent you know like let the players interface with it in a semi realistic way or like not realistic but like fun way the, the journey the journey through Pandora to defeat Handsome Jack as much as I love it as much as I think it you know it has legs to keep re reproducing I think with the re the real where it really shines is the randomized weapons and the loot and the characters. Story, to me, I, okay, I've played more Rogue Lands than any person besides you, probably, out there. Maybe Jolts, I'm not sure. And I have no idea what's going on in the story. <laughs> Does that tell you where I'm at? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't do much playing. You might have me beat. No, this, really, you don't. There's no way. You, you just, you just. I feel like if I were developing a game, I like some of my buddies are starting to develop games and they, they downloaded Unreal Engine and are and they're like are showing me cool stuff along the way. But I would be stopping to play it all the time. Like I get like it's too much work. It's so much work. It just feels like so much work to make a game. I feel like. I wouldn't want to be doing it after like the first day, you know. I would be, I'd be like, why am I even doing this? Yeah, you're right. It does add months to dev time. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like you probably know what you're doing, you know. For me, I'd have to be constantly be like, did that work in the way I think it's working? I gotta know. I would be, you know, starting from from ground zero, and I'm sure, you know, obviously, you know, you've been there. 
but like the potential of these mods the potential of 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 this mod i think all all the patches have been really nice and i do like the, the feature of being able to um have all the enemies uh not despawn upon killing the original 10 or 15 or whatever the objective is i do like that uh that option that's a really cool option that you put it in there i haven't used the other side but oh the one thing okay pirate the one thing I'm gonna ask for. I don't you don't need to fix the inventory. But Okay. The when I finish a round, right? I'm gonna finish this round for you. By the way, absolutely clean. When I finish a round and I get my reward, right? It it always brings me to this mission complete. It's very clean. I love it. Feels really nice to get this shiny gold. Pick oh, which one do I want? Awesome. But when it's every round and I don't have, I have to just drop stuff and then I, it's really going to slow me down the pace of play. I just wish there was a way to, there's a way to turn off the message. I wish there was a way to turn off mission rewards. I know that's like a core mechanic of the game. It's like the, you get the mission rewards. I don't know. They, to me, at least, especially in the mini version, that's what I've been playing the most. It just feels like it clutters up my inventory. And I know I'm picking up way too much stuff as it is. By the time I was done, I just want to ready to sit back and watch. Yeah, true. There were, when it first launched, there was a lot of people making videos about it. There was a lot of videos going down. And I remember, I remember seeing something about it. I think I might've been Jolts posting a, like a thing like, oh, this is coming out soon, blah, blah, blah. And, I, and I, I looked at it, I'm like, wait, like, I've been making some Call of Duty videos, and I'm and I'm, I'm kind of running out of legs here. Like, I'm not really enjoying the game that much. I'm looking for a new game. Um, And this looks exactly like something I would want to play. And it has been. I could add an option to be able to travel without picking it, uh, without picking it up, and it would go away then. But it would still pop up and if you open your inventory at the end of the round. But if I go to the next round without hitting tab, I don't have to take the weapon. If that's if that's possible, that would I mean, it's not like the most clean fix, but let's be honest. It's it's a fix. I mean, that I don't want to make you, you know, push out another update, but uh, the more updates you push, the more money I make. New update. Um uh, insane changes to Rogue Lance. It it is the game of 2024. <laughs> they fixed every problem with the game. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. I can't even right now. I'm shameless. I'm actually so shameless. I don't care. I'm the kind of guy who takes a mouthpiece just to make sure, just in case he gets toothpick every game. The rewards got pretty sick in tier 3 though, so I don't really want to have an option that completely wipes them out. Yeah, the rewards in tier 3 go absolutely insane. I, I honestly, that's why I think I rate Axton top 2 in, in Rogue Lands for me right now. Because you get so many E-Tech weapons um, that he, you're guaranteed to get good gear on him every single time. Some people most likely turn that on early. Yeah, exactly. That's... I'll probably turn it on early. But... Mm. To me, getting the skill points is enough of a reward. But I get that it's not, like, it's not flashy. But I don't need flashy every time. To me, like... To me, the red chests, they give you a ton of gear. The... The the findables, the, in this case, the brains, they give you a ton of gear. The the the, pre the pressure pads give you a ton of gear. The pr the Christmas presents give you a ton of gear. You know, the mission rewards, as much as I love the, the sound effect and all that, I don't think I need a reward that forces me to take it. How about an instant Rackman kill? If I could just add a, a close pop-up button, I would, but the game said no. That's so lame, bro. But either way, like, I'm used to it at this point. I can clear my inventory fast. It's just, I'm, I'm too, uh, 
I attach myself way too much to the gear. It's like, okay, in the specific instance, if I get this one specific enemy, this is going to be useful. But uh, most of the time, I don't really need it, to be honest with you. I don't need to play that way. What is my class mod even? Oh, yeah, Legendary Binder. Perfect. All right, we go Reaper. All right, yeah, see you in a sec. All right, now that Pyrex is gone, we can focus on the game. What a dweeb. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. Okay. Very cool to have someone stop, to stop on this stream. If you're interested in watching the stream, tentative schedule is 8 to 2 weekdays, Eastern Standard Time. Right now, it's 2.07. We're pushing a little bit past, but this will be the last run of the day. Okay, get dropped. Very nice. Very cool, yeah. If if you guys see it, Pyrex and Jolt's Dude are both uh, on the, the name of the game. But a lot of times when I see like a big a big creator, someone who's obviously making, he's spending a lot of his hours making content, and then a smaller creator, um, a lot of times you can kind of, you can assume, you don't want to assume too much, but you can assume that that, that smaller creator slash person is probably doing most of the work on the game. And that the larger creator, a lot of times, is used as a way to market the game to a broader audience. So it's really nice to have uh, Pyrex jump in here so I can get a little bit more feel of, like, you know, the actual ground up. How about that uh, Anarchist pistol? For now. I don't want to lose that other pistol, though. That thing was absolutely ripping for me. Was it that Troublemaker? That thing was actually ripping. Says, I'm gonna try the Zapper Dog. I, I haven't tried it. How's it? What's, what's it do? I mean, look, it seems fun. Let's go. Alright, we got Scorch, which means the fire damage on this flat off pistol isn't gonna be the most. That's why we have the Zapper Dog, though. I thought that guy was dead sliding down the hill. Oh my, one shot! <laughs> Yeah, bro, you hit you hit a spider rant in the crit spot. What did you expect? Still, it's a, f a large lie that just got dropped to the ground. Insta. I think I can put Scorch up. All right, let's go. All right, Scorch, you go up. I'm gonna try to get around the backside, land some crits, one shot. I'm an absolute beast. All right, did you drop me anything good? Doesn't look like it, but Scorch is known for really nice drops here. Come on. Yep, Sandhawk, Laco, Gwen's Head, Hydra, Sharame, and Magic Missile. Ladies and gentlemen, when Pyrex gets back, he's not going to know what happened. Like, what happened? Brother, you tell me. All right, Hydra, Gwen's Head. I need to drop some stuff. Okay. Drop these two shields. Drop the singularity. We don't need that skin. We already have a skin. SMG gun damage plus 78%. Seems like something we might want to turn on. TDR damage. I've got dolls. I'm all dolled up on a I'm all dolled up on a Monday. Vladoff accuracy recovery would drop. Sorry to the Vladoffs. But we're kind of dolled up now. I think I stick with Legendary Binder, maybe. Yeah. TDR trucks can go hard, too. Oh, I just shot my Jacobs. Dang. See, it's just so hard to know. It just takes a long time to, to go through this. I don't really like like to just drop everything like I've seen people do. Maybe I, should, maybe I need to get better at it. SMG gun damage? Okay. Let all that stuff go. Share may take. Gwen's head is good. Gwen's head is good for getting that uh, action skill back pretty quickly. I'm all, I'm literally all dolled up. Okay, let's go re um, Reaper. And I think a respect might be in order here. Because we're about to head into raid boss territory. I'm going to want Ruin. One, two, three, four, five. 
to my Helios companion. Full chain reaction to kill the adds around the raid boss if, if need be. Um, damage won't fight for my life. I don't want the run to end. Let's go for Ward and some Accelerate. Okay. The reason I didn't go Middle Tree is because I don't want to um, spec into stuff that's necessarily phase lock dependent when we're about to fight a raid boss who's going to be immune to phase lock anyway. But the reason why we want Ruin is because Ruin can uh, slag even raid bosses. All right, we, we, we hit box for B. Uh, come on, brother. That would have been a nice TDR or Plasma Caster time. Okay, World Burn does go crazy hard, given the opportunity. And Gub goes hard against Hyperius. I need ammo now, though. Do you need ammo? SMG. SMG, pistol. And we go. Pyropeat, you gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, tough boss. I don't really have the most damage to deal with him. Uh, a Gub is never gonna be useful here. Maybe a Zapper Dog. <laughs> Maybe the Zapper Dog goes crazy here. A Sandhawk is good. That's doing good damage, but um, we gotta make sure that we have some lads. Make sure we got Ruin. Keep up Ruin. Magic Missile. We got a lot of ways to slag, actually. We could have gone more damage. Chain Reaction is killing everybody. Stand inside the water. Thank you. Am I still on fire? I'm cleansing as much as I can. These are looking just fine for us. Spawn in some laddies. Phase lock somebody. Uh, maybe that's not the best phase lock target, but. We're doing fine. So if I phase lock this guy, and then I. Oh, he just did his. Does that count for chain reaction? Will that kill? Will that spread? I'm not sure. Do 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 do. That's my debuff. Abo. Oh, he's, he's gone. He's dead and gone. All right, Pete. Leave me alone, bro. Do not do the melee attack. Anything but the melee attack. It's not horrible damage. But honestly, I kind of want to get rid of this guy and, and just, just summon in Skags instead. Not Skags. Spider Rinse. This is a better, better overall strategy. I need to get to them. I need to get to this guy. Oh, that Skag is dead. If I get hit by melee attack, I might die here. I just wanted to cleanse my debuff real quick, though. Alright, toss me. Let's go. To the face. If we, if we get face shots off, it's it's good damage. More spider ants. No B shield, but honestly, uh, how much would we have the B shield up anyway this fight? Probably not that much. And our ammo's been good. We invested. Okay, getting rid of Pyro P is good early, for sure. Nice. Okay, how about some good gear? So anti-faction, evolution. Okay, evolution's good. Thank you. That's good enough. Okay. Longbow Tesla. I was hoping for maybe a B shield, but that's okay. B shields are hard to come by. Oh, what's over here? I already... Oh, yes, yes. Corrosive O negative. I think... Because we can slag on our own anyway, I don't think we need the magic missile. I think having a corrosive O negative is actually going to be go a little bit better for us.
A little bit better. Sick. Good run so far. Very good run. Tier 2, baby. Let's do it. Alright. Now, the legendary binder has been good for us, but I think it's... Isn't it team cooldown reduction? Yeah. I mean, that's okay. We didn't really need the cat class mod there, though. We might need it in the future. Legendary siren, legendary cat. Those be the ones we want. I take too much stuff. Alright, to the crit spot, hopefully. Let me get there. Let me get there. There we go. Thank you. We, we can rock sand hot for a bit. Looking good. Alright, let's pull them in. Or th I don't have singularity on that yet. Very sick. I do have a Maya win now, so I don't I don't I don't feel too pressured that like I have to absolutely win, but. I, f I feel good about it. We're good about our chances. Let's uh, see if we can get ourselves a decent relic. Now, there's no SMG relic for, like, um, like a deputy's badge or something like that. Okay, hard carry. Not really our style. Whoa! Can we get landed a crit right there, though? Oh, my gosh. Crit plus cl cloud kill. I actually got that guy. It's crazy. Cloud kill goes insane. All right, so we're going to be mobbing. I don't want to die while mobbing. So let's take Sweet Release, and then we take Wreck. Probably going to be worth it. What's my Relic right now? Is it cooldown reduction? Yeah, that makes sense. As soon as I get cooldown reduction on my, I usually grab it. The fact that it slags as well is just... Makes it so good. Also, Strip Shields, because it does a Shock Burst as well. Does damage to armor targets. She is the mage of the game. Oh, grenade, really? Let's go. Come on. Oh, wow. It's almost like I, it's, I had like a gut feeling. Sincero, really good against Pyro Pete. <laughs> I guess who I'm not going to be fighting. Pyro Pete. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Laco, strut your stuff a little bit. What do you say? I think Sandhawk goes through, right? Yeah, Sandhawk goes through that. That's okay, we can just put him up. Easy. Chain reaction doing a good damage right there. I remember back in the old days of Roguelands, this, this was a 10 out of 10 zone. It was so easy. And they uh, updated it. Whoa, I never got unflanked before on this map, I don't think. What in the world? Pyrex put out a hit on me. Oh my gosh. Flanked and ganked, bro. That was crazy. Thanks to Sweet Release, though, for full heals. Sandhawk is absolutely insane. Okay. Okay, I live there. I live, I live. About to kill Maya. Redonk damage. Let's go, baby. Put him up so that I can put him down. 15 out of 15. All right, let's, see, let's get a tier 2 pressure pad going here. I don't see anything like that going that crazy. I would like... Oh, I should have... Mm, should have... I don't know what I should have done. And it's because the enemy spawned behind me. That's why. I didn't have a choice. All right, accelerate, and one point to suspension. I think we're bowling.
immortal woods i think because we have a non-elemental weapon i think this is gonna be fine they, they have weird these guys got weird elemental stuff going on and i don't really know what it is but it's a no it's it's difficult to deal with that's good damage against this towering skeleton though i usually struggle against this guy there we go really easy hey uh welcome back uh pyrex things have changed since you left uh we're rocking sandhawk no B shield though. But we, we killed Pyro Pete. Um a question for you. This is something that I've I've mentioned in a couple of videos now. I'm is there any chance of more raid fights entering the game? I don't know what it like what it entails to get certain fights put into the game and like, I don't I don't know how that exactly works. But uh I'm fine with the current the raids i think that there's enough variety to for the game to go infinite but i just i would like to also learn how to kill other raids as well without having to play the actual world landscape so i can be included in all like the like oh you know how to do stuff against master g and stuff like that you know all right see you later not sure to be honest most of the ones we didn't include because they have rely on crutching moxie weapons or just aren't fun. That's honestly, yeah, sounds sounds about like the, the most informed take I've ever heard in my life. If only you were there in the developmental stage when they were making the making the boss fights, and then they would have never gotten developed in the first place. Honestly, if if a game if if you the game dev is telling me that you're sparing me from a miserable time, I'm gonna believe you. Cause Terramorphous even Terramorphous when sh when that lad goes on a swipe spree, not fun, anti fun. Like like we tried Vor, but no matter what we did to his health and shields and damage output, it was nearly impossible. That makes total sense. Yeah, that's one of the raid bosses I think I've only ever gotten to spawn one time. Me and my brother, like, actually tried for a while with our... I think it wasn't OP-10, but it was in our with our first level 72 UVHM characters, I, th I believe. Um, And we just got wiped. Like, I was playing Krieg, he was playing uh, Gage, and we just, got, we just got wiped. Never tried again. All right, oh, negative comes out. That's That's a really clean zone right there. And you don't want to, and that's a really tricky thing too. You don't want a bad experience to turn someone off in the end game forever, you know? The fine line. Yeah, Moxie. Yeah, I. It's tough, because like Borderlands is a shooter, so it's like. Can we can we play a game where if we're good enough, we never take damage? And like realistically, no. Like. Like if you're fighting Hyperius, maybe. But even then, he pops your shield. So, like, it's not its just not a game that you can dodge all damage. It's just kind of rough. I wish they made... But I, I any mechanic that one-shots you without being able to dodge it, to me, bad game design. And it's not, it's not all one-shots, but it, what it is is it's... It takes you from 100% to 10%. And threatens you that if you do not heal back to full, I'm going to hit you again. Not not good. If if you want to have an ability that takes you all the way down to one shot, then it's got to be something very telegraphed, something that the player can understand and dodge, and without without doing weird glitches. But if you're gonna, if, but if you want to have like certain attacks that are very likely to hit, that's gonna be your pepper damage. That's gotta be the, the stuff that you know that. That'll kill you if you let it over time. Not not stuff that's gonna like you know one shot you. Okay, my Reaper is gone. That's a that's a big problem that that Wonderlands and, and Borderlands have is like eventually all the enemies just start one shotting you. Like not fun. Not fun at all. I'm gonna die here potentially. Unless I can kill this gobbler. Wait, no. These guys are so tanky. They're unbelievably tanky. Is my torque vision around? I can't. I can't tell. Oh, right there. 
It's a save. It's a save. It's a save. It's a save. Oh, it's a save. We kill Garrett. We kill Garrett for sweet release. Oh, negatives, please. I need you now more than ever. All right, put one of these lads up. We'll go back to Turkey. I don't have slag on him right now. Dude, forget about moxie weapon healing. How about O negative spam? We could buff regular bosses to raid level, though. It's just so hard. Like, look at this fight. Like, um... Look at how big of, like, an event this fight is. You know, this is, like, a top-level fight, in my opinion. Like, it's just really cool, right? And then some of the medium bosses are, like, not as cool. It's like, well... Do I really want them to be, like, in my final challenge, you know? Like, when they made Captain Tront raid boss scaling, it's, like, it's not quite as cool, in my opinion. Oh, Pimpernel. GG. Two Pimpernels, GG. Three Pimpernels. And a legendary siren class mod the boots. G G. All right, so what do we do? We throw on a pimpernel, fire. Pimpernel corrosive. We see which one is better. I don't know the parts that well, so we gotta look at the stats. Okay, mine is better. Very sick. Now, a hail could be good as well. We are gonna get a respec after slapping on the legendary siren class mod. Because honestly, look at this one gives more cooldown rate than the one that's specifically meant for cooldown. Three pimps and a hail, GG. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to rock the hail, though. Should I? Let's drop one point in each to start. That's a... Okay, I'm going to take sweet release anyway, probably. Okay. Next, let's go... Helios, Cloud Kill, Chain Reaction, Reaper, Immolate, Ruin. Oh, no. Accelerate. Accelerate. I mean, if you end up needing it at some point, it's nice to have. Yeah, true. It's true. Um, but honestly, hot take. I know a lot of people... I know that there's, like, a lot of, like... New skin? There's a lot of people who would say that, that you need moxie weapons. Um, to, like, to heal through a lot of stuff. And that probably is true for base game, but, but at least for roguelands, I feel like you did a good job. Moxie weapons don't heal you that much. Like, unless you've got a Grog or, like, a Ruby or something like that, I feel like the other ones don't really heal you that much. Like, th yes, there are synergies with things like, um, like Heartbreaker. But most of the time, I find, at least in my experience playing the game, it's just me, uh, that the grenades do a much better job at healing you than Moxie weapons. Dragons, gonna get uh, dragons get dicey every time. Every time. I don't want to take Accelerate because of the fact that it... I've heard, I don't know how it affects Pimpernel, but apparently it does affect Pimpernel, so I don't really want to mess with it. The, the Borderlands brain mathy people have told me that it's bad, so... Excel with Pimps are a no-go. Got it. Won't be going yet. Um... Heading, at this point, it's mostly just kill skills, except I would like Sweet Release. Wreck is good, too. Inertia. Inertia. Lee. Quicken. I don't know. At that point, the points can kind of go into whatever. Let's go fight a raid boss. Well, we gotta go through Sanctuary first. I think this time at Sanctuary, we're gonna invest in Sniper SDUs. Pimpernel should be decent enough to get us through a lot of the game. Michael, give me a TD or Plasma Caster, or I report you. You got something I might like. What is it? <laughs> you almost got me, bro. You almost got me. Okay. Sniper Rifle for my Pimpernel. SMG for my Sandhawk. Grenages for my O Negatives. Launcher for my Launcher. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, seriously. Get actually, get reported. Okay, legendary cat. Legendary cat. Nope. Okay. We already fought Pete. We know it's not gonna be Pete. If it's if it's Craw, we low roll. If it's Hyperus, we low roll, man. Uh, dang it. It's gonna be Terramorphous. Okay, we got Pimpernel though. We could Do I have a No, I don't have a way to drag them in. At the throw. You have a world burn though. Why don't we just ruin world burn to start here? Or maybe. 
Ruin Pimper now to start. No crits. Mm, no crits, bad player. <laughs> no crits, bad player, for sure. Here we go. Hard crits to hit on these guys, but we can do it. Shoot, shoot him lower with the pimp. Got it. Got you. Now, this fight is hard because of the missiles, but if we can get the missiles under control, we'll be chilling. Extra pellets spawn above. Oh, okay. So, the pellets spawn from above. Got it. Oh, wait. I can, I can pull them in with my... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have a singularity in my action skill. No, everyone group up. Huge. Just in case we take damage here. Let's keep the Pimpernel going. I don't have boar or anything like that. I don't know how much damage this is doing. I hope it's doing something. I, it's got to be doing good damage, right? Surely? I think maybe their their shields are getting respawned insta. Or I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, they're still in their cooldown phase. I can probably just chain reaction them. This is a nice fight right here. This feels good. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, someone told me to always use Ruin on... on Hyperus. And I, and I was thinking about, like, why? Like, why is that a thing? It's the Singularity. It's the Singularity. How much lower should I be... Like, should I aim for his upper chest? Or should I aim for his stomach? I mean, we're pumping. There's also no negative. I feel nervous right now. And what do you say we do a little bit of sand hawking? We do a little sand hawking. That's just what I do. Make sure. Oh, can you also use it on Hyperius because the other guys, the other lads can't, or uh, Hyperius can't get knocked away. So they can all get dragged into them. And then you get... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all making sense now. All right, they're all dead. Just me and the boss. Right, let's see what a world burn can do. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the good world burn here. Let's go. Juke. Can you... you, got, you actually, you gotta stick around for... Uh-oh, where'd the stream go? Oh no, the stream is gone. Can you still hear me? I mean, we're still we're still recording. You still go. There we go. We're through. All right, let's storm. We take gunner ring. We take. Actually, I I'm dropping that gunner ring. I'm pretty sure. Transformer shield? I like evolution better. Malawan damage? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not Malawan damage. Hey, what's up? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Right, we got 43%. We, we ended up killing Hyperus with a world burn. I think, I think the recording is fine. It was a pretty simple fight, honestly. It took me like five shots with a world burn, maybe. Okay, I, this is my favorite part. After, oh, I like after a uh, boss fight loot. That's my favorite one. Maybe the mission rewards should be for after boss fights. But again, I, I listen. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, this was the first one I think I ever got. I like this one. Is like this. Slut. Uh, it's just nice and like relaxing to just fall down. It's like almost therapeutic. It's like a, it's a nice mental reset heading into stage three. Are there any secrets hidden? Can you can you throw me a bone? Are there any secrets hidden in this one? Okay. Because the odds of me, you know. <laughs> Looking through that entire stage, looking for a secret, or pretty much zero. All right, let's go tier three. This is this is where we separate the men from the boys. We got this.
All right. Looking for again a B shield. The actualizer is a is a high base damage weapon. It's not going to be the most crazy of uh, weapons over the Sandhawk or anything like that, but it's fun to use. It's really accurate. But it has slow projectile speed, very long reload. Yeah. But it, its base damage is quite high. The problem is it just it just doesn't it doesn't hold a candle to the damage of the Sandhawk, you know. But it, it does get the bullets there immediately. If you do need something that can get the bullets there immediately, that'll it'll do that job. Okay. Some O negatives. Oh, great Tommy on that O negative, brother. No way. We go down, but we're not out. I don't really want to pull out the world burn. I don't think it's going to have enough deeps. There we go. Let's put somebody up. Who's who's hitting me for a ton of damage? All right, sweet. Release me back to full HP if you could. Thank you. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's a run under. No, it's not. Okay, I'm actually going to get a run under if I keep messing with that corner. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any elemental damage relics or elemental damage weapons really going right now, so... The overall damage... Oh, loot! SMG! Oh, the loot enemies? That is... That's got to be one of my favorite parts about the game. Randomized loot enemies guarantee the drop ledges. That is... Good stuff. We're fine here. Cloud kill pumps out deeps. Thank you. Come again. What did what I get? Uh, sticky homing Kzar. I already have a decent singularity. As we just found out. So, I'm going to leave it on the ground. I'm excited. I, I would much rather have the extra healing. RPG loaders are tough. Well, I mean, <laughs> honestly, my brain was on neutral there, so. Sandhawk diff. The Sandhawk with Accelerate is so good, but the Pimpernel with it is so bad. It's like, what do you choose? All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, that guy punched me right in my face. But if we can kill Rock Golems that quick, I mean, we should be okay. Hey, relax, brother. It doesn't have to be that way. Golly, man. Chill out. Thank you. That's a pretty quick Rock Golem kill. I've had plenty of runs where I just simply just cannot kill them. It's like it's not efficient to kill them. Can't reaction me. We seem to be just fine here. I need to get away from this guy though. Thank you. Drag him in. Now what I might want to do is put this guy up and then use that extra time with my, my fire rate to... Yeah, yeah, just like that. I like how you guys added the Tiny Tina zones. Oh, uh, Pyrex, I had a question for you that I didn't know how to uh, answer someone in, in my comment section. You have to own all the DLCs for this to work, because I know that we're in a DLC area right now. But do you have to have to have all the DLCs owned and, and installed, or no? Yeah, okay. I, that's good to know, because I didn't know how it works. I'm pretty sure I have had all the DLCs for forever. I know. You know they, they package this thing up a million different ways. Very cool. If you... If you were to say what is your, the thing that you're most proud of about the roguelite, besides the fact that it exists, right? What is What would you say is like the thing that you're most proud of about the, the mod? I don't mean to, you know, farm me for content. Probably the Easter egg in this map. Stop it. Stop. Are you serious? Okay, I got you. How do I do it? <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> stop it. Don't mess with me. 19.6, 20.3. This is better. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Fix the inventory. You almost just looked at it? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. I know you can't. You're not allowed to give it to me. 
but we can play the hot and cold game. <laughs> okay. Give me that sheriff's badge, the better one. I almost looked at it. Okay, I was over here. Okay. I mean, there is a staircase over here. There's a cave over... There's a rock formation over there I haven't really looked at. Okay, the Easter egg on this map. Is that it? Do I need a different weapon? Sincero. That's the most bullet of bullets that you could possibly bullet. I don't know what's happening. Wait, what? Is this a thing? What's going on here? Is this, is this what it is? Is this... <laughs> what the heck is going on? Did you... So you made a thing that if you shoot the target, a boat sails in with Butt Stallion? <laughs> no way. And what, she drops me like 25 million legendaries? The Butt Boat. <laughs> nice. That's very cool. That is very cool. Question to you about the, the Pokemon uh, thing in the... Uh, the Pokemon ball inside of the window at um, TK Baja's hut. I've tried throwing singularities at it. I've tried shooting it. Sounds like something like, you know, if I threw a singularity at it, it'd be like, oh, I got to catch them all kind of thing. It doesn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I had to get one off. That one had to get off my chest for sure. So I've been, I've been losing sleep over that one. All right, we go, we go corrosive damage, but not off the rip here. We got re some regular laddies first and make sure we get our points in because listen we, we can't be not using our points here okay looking just fine oh wait. kill these lads kill these lads okay gone 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 i gotta kill this guy that way i can switch to my corrosive damage weapon I'm in trouble here. I gotta be. I gotta focus up. Tough zone. Lots of enemies. I'm being surrounded. Okay, something on the ground. A conference call. Okay, come on. This is our moment. Let's go. Tier three. Not even difficult. Now this constructor is a pain in my gluteus maximus. He has been since day one. So actualize with this guy, maybe? Oh my gosh, now I'm, now I'm in a lot of trouble. I need to put this guy up and put him down. ASAP. Okay, getting a little bit chaotic. I think the flying enemies are adding to that. I'm gonna take out this flying enemy next, I think. It's also because people keep spawning up next to me. Wait, I don't need, I don't need to kill a constructor. I can just farm this stage out for easier enemies. Big kinetic reflection enjoyer. Yeah, kinetic reflection, I feel like, is, is like the... Uh, is the... The precursor to Ties That Bind. It's basically the same, but Ties That Bind has like a much better, like, oh, incendiary damage. Movie or hail? Okay. Let's see. Logan's gun can get dropped. It's, oh my gosh, it's all. <laughs> it's all uniques. I don't like dropping uniques if I can help it, but. We don't need this pistol damage relic anymore. It also means a lot of the bullets you get hit with don't actually hit. Oh, kinetic reflection. Oh, I thought we were talking about chain reaction. Okay, yeah. I, actually, yeah. The one is this. A, it's just a pretty good one point wonder though. To me, it feels like a good one point wonder. Because the deflection chance doesn't go up, and I don't care about the damage. I think sustenance is going to be an important skill as well. Okay. I think we're looking pretty good. Uh-oh, this is going to be around there. I, I always feel speculative, but i probably find that one. Yeah, I think one is, is definitely the way. Mad Mike, th he doesn't get me this time. This time I get him. This time I get him, for sure. Where's my Fire Pimpernel? 
You're I gotta use you, brother. Thank you. You're gonna be the star of this this round, because this round having long range damage is lit. Later. Please don't do what don't do what I think you're gonna do, bro. Nope. Not gonna let you. Later. Watch out for that grenade on the ground. Oh. Oh wow, what a reload, huh? Get some damage off down there. I don't I can't tell where his head is. Can't see anything. Oh, let's go. Ironclad? Ironclad, your head is a vulnerable, my guy. Oh, we're going right through that. Put him up. There's his head right there. Nice. Let's go. Now, it's not the, this bottom area that I'm worried about. It's it's this top area. I could shoot some TVs, but do I care about the E-Tech weapons? I think I... Uh, I'm not gonna do it. But there's nothing... There's no, honestly, there's no downside. Let's just... Come on, just shoot the television, televisions, bro. Let's just let's show our guests that we know where we're at, they're all at. Alright, Ironclad, you gotta go down. Top name would be nice. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I finally got up that staircase without messing it up. Okay. Mad Mike hasn't spawned yet. We're chilling. There we go. Okay. Die, brother, die. Somebody's around me. This guy. Gotta go. Remember now it's pumping. It's pumping, for sure. Ow, 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 ow. Need a toss, need a toss. That landed me a little bit lower than the head. Oh, that's a nice shot. Can the Pimpernel hurt me? Good deeps, good deeps. I don't think so. Good. If it can, that'd be sad. Oh, he's he spawned, he spawned. We are in danger. Go right at him, go right at him. There's, there's only one way. There's only one way. Do not let him do anything. F keep him phase locked and put his ass down. This is a perfect fight for Maya. As long as you do not let him get the jump on me. There we go. An enemy I can keep phase locked? Th yes, please. Alright. Where's that staircase at? Give me that shot. Thank you. Alright. What do you got for me? Tier 3. Splasher Blaster. Doll plasma caster. I'm not sure. Oh, there, there's a T door plasma caster right there. Let's see. I think that top knee could be good. I have a world burn, but it's going to be. Oh, legendary cat claws mods. Huge, huge get, I think. Because if I can get a B shield. I don't know if it's actually going to be that good. Let's do extra damage while in fight for our life. I think it's going to be useful. Okay. I need to drop some stuff. Stuff I'm never going to use. Devastator, never going to use it. Bloodstorm, sorry. Never going to use it. Infinity, gone. The gunner rank don't even speak. Tidor, Plasma Caster, stay. Sincero, goes. Okay. Hydra, not going to use it. I seem to... I'm going to be pointing at the box a lot, too. So I got to make sure. Okay, that should be fine for now. Let's take that top, Nia. Okay, we're happy with that. Have to rely, try not to slag yourself with that one. Oh, true. True, 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 true. I mean, the world burn, I think, will be just fine. I think I'd rather have a world burn than a top, Nia, anyways. It's just the fire dragon. The fire dragon is the most obnoxious one. They're all obnoxious, don't get me wrong, but the Fire Dragon is the most obnoxious. Alright. Spawn in, laddie. Thank you. Getting a crown here is going to be a little bit challenging, but we can do it. Get pulled in. We can do this. 
Plus no negative out. We don't die here. We don't go down. We don't go down. We don't go down. We don't go down. Sustenance. 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 Where's my crits? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. You know, what if we... What if we... Uh, do this the easy way? Ouch. Do not heal up on me. There we go. Let's just do the thieves way. Does world burn? No one said we have to try to beef. Zero Grizz out here. I'm not the most accurate player in the world. And I also turned off aim assist for more. Uh, for more. What's it called? Stress free, posting because someone called me out for for cheating, and slowed my frames down to 0.25 and and and. And put timestamp in his comment. Cheating, cheating, cheater. Okay, fine. You wanna, you wanna call me a cheater? I agree with you. Aim assist does feel kind of like cheating on PC. Where's my damage at? Uh oh, she's gonna heal off me, and I don't have a lot of uh, damage right now. I feel like. Okay, can you guys just leave me alone? I got much bigger fish to fry. AKA this chick who's gonna eventually get mad enough to wanna heal back up. There it is. Run, 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 run. I think we got it. I think we got it. No, she's still active. No, we got it. We're good. We're good. Nice job. Nice. Good deeps. Very good deeps. All right. Any loot enemies around? Doesn't look like it. I would take a Juso's candy, por favor. This fight is fun because you do get a lot of mobs, and like you mobbing actually does come into play here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Plus an O negative. I'm absolutely fine. Sweet release is gonna heal me back up. Don't you worry. Wish I'd accelerate for this Sandhawk. All right. Okay, as long as she does not decide to, to do heal juice and catch me off guard, I should be fine here. Loot Arachne Reaper. Go, 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 go down. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I put up the wrong person. That's okay. Let's just use Wreck for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's the strat. Oh, negative out. She might be doing heal juice right now, so I gotta be careful. Put you up. Then use Wreck on you. Oh, I go down, but that's okay. It's my first down in a long time, I feel like. There we go. I pull you in. Don't let her heal juice me. Not gonna happen. Huge damage right there. Huge damage. Nice. Way to use wreck, brother. Oh, very, very good. And that's gonna be our last fight before the, the dragons. That's 138% legendary cat class mod. Holy. Starting to get some actual gear here. Infection cleaner. Infection cleaner. That is a... Is it... Isn't that like a regular... Like a, a fire version of a certain... Of a certain legendary, isn't it? Like the... Not the baby maker, but the Avenger. If so, I don't usually like these weapons. They, def they don't do any damage. All right, for the dragons, the strategy is O negative, O negative, O negative. That is Followed up by Sandhawk damage to the face and pray that we can get the win. Now, Pimpernel might be useful as well. Given that these dragons all have red HP bars. Fire damage comes into play. That being said. We are looking for a B shield. For a little bit of damage. The evolution is good too. Uncapped Herald's not probably not gonna end up take using it. Alright, what do we got here? Legendary cat, legendary nurse. The TDR fire launcher. I mean, I got, I got too much gear. I get dizzy when it gets to this point. It's like just too much gear. Alright, so what's our what's our setup gonna be? I think it's gonna be O negatives for grenades for healing. 
Sandhawk for damage, but we need something that can bring these guys down. We're going to use this gun to, to, to tag them and bring them down. Maybe something a little bit more... Something a little bit more accurate, because I get minus accuracy with SMGs. Also, we probably want a healing gun. Maybe it's the... Maybe the kitten. If I was in a straight line, I can bring the dragons down one at a time with this bad, bad Larry. Who comes down first? Not the, not the fire. Let's do, let, let's do purple. Sure. Start immediately. Okay, wait. The fire one came down first. Now I have to try to juke all the dragons while the fire one lights the stage on fire. That sounds that sounds like a really fun time, honestly. How did the fire one get down here first? Just keep tossing your negatives. This, he's so obnoxious to deal with because of the fact that he goes in the defense form. Yeah, that's good damage against the fire one, though. As long as they don't go down here. Oh, negative me. Kitten. Okay, we're fine. Oh, boy. Oh, brother. I'm getting lost in the sauce. I'm getting lost in the sauce. I'm getting lost in the sauce. Okay, we're back at the full. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. It's, it's so over. I'm so back. We got, we got damage going. We got damage going. Nice. Okay. Get back down here. Get back down here. The worst case scenario is that the healing one heals this guy back up to full. And I'm down. I shot the, the defense stance, man. I have connect reflection. Dang. Ugh. Oh. That's a tough way for that one to end. Honestly, had a ton of fun. Extremely, extremely hyped to have Pyrex BLJ in chat. Thank you for stopping by. It is now 3 p.m. 2 p.m. It, an hour past when I would typically end like that in stream. But thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, follow the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.